hi everyone in this video you will learn about the biggest change when python 3.8 was introduced the change was the introduction of assignment expression assignment expression are written with a new colon this operator is often called the walrus operator as its resemblance to the i and task of a walrus actually assignment expressions allow you to assign and return a value in the same expression for example if you want to assign to a variable and print its value then you will typically do something like and then print so it will return you false in python 3.8 or above you will allow to combine these two statement into one using the walrus operator so how you will write so you will write all that it will return you true if you try to see what is the type of this walrus variable it will show you this is a boolean type so the assignment expression allow you to assign true to walrus and immediately print the value one pattern that shows some of the strength of the walrus operator is while loops where you need to initialize and update a variable i have some code handy creating a list object and we are asking user to input something in the current input and then we are checking until we get the quit word from the console the loop will keep running and it will keep adding into the list right in the program when i type quit so the program will be terminated okay so this code is less than idle you are repeating input statement and somehow you need to add current input to the my list before asking the user for it a better solution is to set up an infinite while loop and use break to stop the loop so i have improved version of it right let me keep it so that you can compare the same thing we are doing but here we are using input statement once okay and then we are checking whether current input equals to quit then we are breaking the loop otherwise we are adding our input to the list if you input anything it will print the execution will be terminated once you type quit so this code is equivalent to the code above but avoids the repetition and somehow keeps the line in a more logical order right if you use an assignment expression then you can simplify this loop further let me show you the final code of the walrus operator keep this as well you see here what we are doing in the same statement we are getting the input and then we are assigning the input to the current input okay and then we are checking whether the inputted value is not quit if it is not quit then the loop will keep running and it will keep adding the current value to the list run it so it will work in the same okay i have another example to make you understand let me remove this code and let me keep this one first we will print a list of numbers until its value is equal to 0 right with while loop this is very simple loop when we run the program so it will ask a number so let me input 40 and it will print all the values from 40 to 1 okay in the decreasing manner it is a very simple program we can perform the same task with the use of walrus operator okay you can see so we are taking the input and we are checking whether input value is greater than 0 or not and then we have used the walrus operator here while decrementing the number if you run it so you will see the same output okay you might be wondering why we enclose walrus operator line of code in parenthesis this is because python will give you a syntax error if you try to use the walrus operator as the assignment operator it is designed in a way that that prevents you from using its as assignment operator but you can if you add parenthesis now a question comes when to use the walrus operator you have two options either going with a assignment operator or the walrus but both are used in different scenarios the assignment operator just assign a value to a variable for future use whereas the walrus operator evaluates the walrus operator expression and assign the result to the variable name 
as you mentioned it is great for simplifying the code in a following situation right repeated function call can make your code slower than necessary repeated statements can make your code hard to maintain and repeated calls that exhaust iterators can make your code overly complex it also simplifies the process of iterating over a list or a dictionary in python how let me remove all this code i have code right so this is a list of numbers we are iterating these all items this is a index this is a value and what we are doing we are just checking whether current item is greater than 10 you can see we have used a walrus operator here right this is statement we are checking whether the value is greater than 10 or not then only j is printed if you run the program you will see we will get 16 25 36. okay now let me tell you the situations where it cannot be used the walrus operator is not supported inside lambda functions as lambda functions are limited in scope and do not allow assignments i have one lambda function you see there is error syntax error we cannot use the walrus operator in the lambda function this lambda function is accepting one argument and this argument we are incrementing with 10 in the same variable no this is not supported if you run it you will get an error you see cannot use assignment expressions with lambda another thing to note about the wallace operator has not supported inside list or dictionary comprehensions as these are expressions that generates new list or dictionary rather than statements that execute arbitrary code this is the list comprehension and you cannot use like this okay this is a loop we are getting x and we cannot assign any of the value to the current variable with walrus okay this will also give you error if you run it you will see assignment expression cannot rebind comprehension iteration variable x okay there are many times it is possible for you to use the walrus operator but where it won't necessarily improve the readability or efficiency of your code in those cases you are better off writing your code in a more traditional manner so we learn about what is python's wireless operator and where it should and shouldn't be used it is especially useful for tasks such as updating variables within loops and iterating over list and dictionaries that brings us to the end of the today's video we hope you found it informative and engaging don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content on all things tech related thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video